almost every child has counted stars in childhood. But have you ever wondered what resides behind these stars? The vastness of the space is beyond our thoughts, and even many aspects are hidden before our eyes. Imagining ourselves living in a small town on the planet Earth, where there are other big planets in our galaxy, and countless other galaxies. It seems like we are a very tiny part of space. Considering the huge bodies in our space, with very few on the count yet, have you ever felt freaked out about the deadliest objects in space? If you moved your head for a yes, then get ready to ride this roller coaster of discovering what the space is hiding. In our number one, we present you with the enormous engulfing black holes that can eat up anything and will not leave the bones behind. Black holes are the invisible killers that many people have heard about before. Chances are you might also believe that black holes are the only deadly thing in space. But do you know what exactly black holes do? Black holes have different sizes, from micro to supermassive, and each one has its own power that you may call the killing ability. Micro black holes are rare, so we believe they exist more in theory and less in space. The most common black holes are mid-sized form with the collapsing of a series of stars. You may think that if black holes are so powerful, why don't they suck in everything leaving the space empty? The answer lies in the falling apple on Newton's head, and that's the gravitational force. A black hole has a strong gravitational force, but not too strong to bring everything near to it and swallow. Years ago, an older belief was that only supermassive black holes exist with extreme power with no other black holes. You may be surprised that the mid-sized black holes are faster moving and roam around in space even more than the supermassive ones. They continuously move at a high speed of 900 million miles an hour. As they have an extraordinary high speed, they mostly collide with things, ultimately changing their direction. So this decreases the chance of engulfing things. Now let's try to know more about the supermassive black holes. If you are afraid of supermassive black holes, you can create your own imaginary world with no such thing. But in the real world, they exist and are the most dangerous and deadly objects in space. Defining a black hole, we can say that it is a highly dense mass with a high gravitational pull that is difficult to escape. But to engulf any object, supermassive black holes must lie within its gravitational range. The Sun is bigger than the Earth and is approximately 864,000 miles, which is undoubtedly a huge figure. But what if you learned that supermassive black holes have a mass of 4 million suns? Mouth opening, isn't it? You can only see the black holes by moving the objects in a specific direction and area. Most probably at the centre of the galaxy, most of the supermassive black holes are present, where stars and gas clouds orbit with high velocity. Believing in this science, we are safe, because planet Earth does not lie near the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. Still, the worst thing is that black holes keep on moving, and no one knows when a supermassive black hole could come to engulf our planet. The next deadliest thing in space on our list is the rogue planet. Science books have always discussed the solar system and the eight planets, now excluding Pluto. But what about the planets in other galaxies? Even if we ignore them for a minute, remember that these gangster planets do not care about any other planet in space, including Earth. Scientists do not know all of them, so we don't know what's happening on these rogue planets. Wondering why couldn't these rogue planets be a threat to our planet? It's because a rogue planet does not revolve in a fixed orbit and moves freely, able to hit anything they come into contact with. A theory suggests that they were removed from their orbits because of being too extreme. Now talking about the facts of these rogue planets, they are almost equal to twice the number of stars in our galaxy, and this number is almost uncountable. These planets are relatable to Jupiter in size. Jupiter is much bigger than other planets and is approximately 43,440.7 miles. Can you imagine such billions of Jupiters revolving in space with no driver? They can only be deadly for everything revolving in space. The power of rogue planets is so strange that they can make a body move away from its orbit and roam freely in space. Hypernova is another deadly object in space that can make you freak out. 
They are somewhat related to black holes, but the process involved in the formation is different. When a supermassive star collapses after its life's end, it turns into a black hole. During this process, a high amount of energy is released at light speed with gamma radiation emissions. Don't worry about our sun forming into a black hole because only the hypergiant stars can turn into such black holes. This is a very rare thing that can happen almost every 200 million years. The energy released from the formation of a hypernova is so intense that it can wipe out all life on planet Earth within seconds without a pre-notification. Where hypernovas can cause so much damage, there has been another event in the past. It is the Ordovician Silurian Extinction Event. Ever heard about quasars? Probably not, because our next thing is not common to common people. A quasar is an active galactic nucleus formed from the high friction of plasma surrounding the supermassive black holes. The high friction inside the centre of the supermassive black hole causes the plasma to move circularly at a very high speed, making the plasma glow very bright and hot. This hot plasma can engulf all the light emissions around the galaxy. You'll be surprised to know that the quasar is not only a source of light, but it also emits X-waves, ultraviolet rays and radio waves. That is why when a quasar jet shoots, it creates a phenomenon called the dragon. The jet shooting from the quasar lands in between the intergalactic medium, a place between two galaxies. Blazars are somewhat related to quasars, but instead of landing between the two galaxies, they aim for higher places, like a planet. Even if a blazer lands on a planet, it can end the whole existence of that planet in a few minutes. But the good news is the blazars are already less in number and far away from our planet, so it will not cause any harm to us. The existence of blazars and quasars help scientists to dive deeper into the early days of the formation of the universe. Many supermassive stars and other things didn't have a chance to survive because things were breaking and forming at the very start of the universe's foundation. Quasars were in high numbers, continuously emitting light, heating up the gas and were present in the early times. Hot gas cannot collide with objects and break them, this gives a chance for survival and the formation of life. Thus, we can understand that deadly quasars have a huge contribution to the existence of all the species on Earth. Asteroids are last on our list. But remember, the count of the deadly things in space doesn't end here. It goes on. It would not be wrong if asteroids were called killer asteroids. Asteroids are like space rocks that move freely with no stable path and hit each other with the other objects in space. Experts assume that even if an asteroid of only one kilometre in width hits our planet, we all will die with destruction of planet Earth. Space consists of trillions of things moving around in it all the time, but not everything is harmless. Space could be considered a pond where different species survive. In that pond, many hunt others for food and other purposes. The same is the case in space, where many things are deadly for other planets, stars and all other things. A black hole is the most mysterious of all the deadliest things, because anything that goes into it does not have any remains of where it went. Scientists have been discovering the deadly things in space for years, because more knowledge helps to save Earth from all the coming dangers. Although many researchers are still on missions to discover more things in space, if only a rogue planet would come towards the Earth, there is nothing that can be done to save it.